We're here at this Colchester store to see their point of difference against the neighbouring Tesco. Tell me, how important is this great bakery section to your store? It's very important. Um, the main reason is that it's always available and also it's just a bit of a point of difference between us and Tesco's. Tesco's have only got a very small selection. We've got a quite nice range. Um, we've got an impulse stand. Um, and also just the smell and the fragrance that goes through the shop um, re really helps the sales as well. And what advice would you give to an independent retailer that couldn't do this fantastic operation in their store? My advice would be um, source locally. You know, look at what's in your village and go to your local baker and ask them to supply you. So tell me about local flavours. Yeah, we have a fantastic range um, in store as you can see behind me. Um, we sell everything from chocolate bars to cakes to um, cider, wine, ice cream. We've got a lovely range of fresh meat um, and it's, it's just all so close to, to the store. And why is it so important to your store? It's so important because that's our point of difference between us and Tesco's. In the village, we're the local supplier of local products. Kelly, tell me, how did you get involved with the community? As a retail business manager, our main focus is the community. So if you, if you live and you know what's going on within your community, it just makes life so much easier. I'm also a school governor. Does this store interrupt with the local school? Oh yeah, definitely. That is one of the main keys as well, becoming a governor, is that we can really get involved and work together. Um, for example, we've had the children in doing bag packing, um, raising funds for um, different parts of their school. And we have competitions, um, like Christmas, they do colouring competitions and we advertise their work on our, on our boards. So tell me about the community support card I see you have here. Um, every time you shop, you, we swipe the card for you and 3p of the pound goes into the charity. It normally runs for a year, um, and then after that year you have your um, total. Our total here is £30,000. So tell me about the charities this store supported last year. Oh, there were so many. Um, the main one's Canine Partners, um, but I have actually got a community champion in store, um, Francis, who we can go and speak to. So Francis, you're the community champion of this store. Tell me what you do. From the beginning, the charities apply for the community funding. I help Kelly, we go through them all with some of the members and then we choose which one we're going to give it to. We usually try to get a, an event to, to, to announce which ones we've chosen and then uh, we start fundraising. Um, we have uh, dressing up, which we love doing. Um, lots of different events, cake making, we do cake making, we do uh, second-hand book stalls and things like that. The real heart of the community then? Yeah, yeah. Technology is becoming very important in running a convenience store. Here at Rav's, he's introduced electronic shelf edge labels. Rav, tell me the thought process when you put ESLs into your store. My inspiration was other retailers, um, namely Kishore Patel, who mm -hmm. brought the office to the shop floor. Um, and we're doing the same with, with handheld scanners and, and iPads. So what you're able to do is, when, you, when we come into the shop floor, we're able to link labels and we're able to tailor the label as if it were a person speaking to the customer. We, we probably save um, 20, 20 hours on, on changing things around a mm -hmm. week. Um, usually about maybe 30, 35, 40 hours when there's a promotional change. Great technology we've seen, Rav. Show me how it works. What we would do to uh, link the label is simply go to the link button. And simply, Paul, if you wouldn't mind scanning either the front or the back of that label, uh, it lets us ask a question, what you want to link it to. Okay. And we've got a choice of whether we want a split label or a single label. And then we simply get the product and just scan it. And it confirms that it's done it. Okay. And within seconds, the eye in the sky will send the signal and that label will, will transform um, to comfort. Great. I see that label's come through within seconds, Rav. Amazing. That shows me the labour saving is there. So what's next for this great technology? On the grand scheme of things, we, we've got more plans with uh, changing the design of the labels so that we either have a QR code mm -hmm. and we could be talking about uh, recipes or sending people to websites anywhere on the web, maybe allowing them to have a discount um, or to do whatever they, we need them to do. Great store, Rav. Great technology. Now show me how you get involved with the community outside the store. Yeah, Paul, so we just come out the shop, um, just walk down the path and right outside the community hall. So let's go inside. Rav, tell me, how did you get involved with the community hall? Well, we started with joining the committee, um, at which point I um, elected to be chair. 
um, and then we, we began a process of developing the hall for the different user groups. And then we started with, with painting, decorating, um, cleaning out the floors, and that's, that's the maintenance side. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Paul, this is the kitchen. Um, and you'll notice it's, it's bright, it's fresh, it's new. We, we just had it um, done out with, for the builder. That's all very interesting, Rav. But how does that benefit you as a retailer? It helps us in, in many ways. For example, Slimming World happens on a Thursday evening and they'll tend to go to Slimming World and come into the store and use it as a top-up and do their shopping. But then other examples within the store, we use something called a Local Vocal. Um, and we just ask people questions about things that are happening locally and then we can feed that higher up the chain, whether it be through the community hall or whether it's a council. So we're that sort of goal between for people. In the end, it links me and my store to the community. Another great example of community retailing. Nobody does it better. Well done, Ruff.